The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has begun looking for new ways to reduce the amount of contaminated water that's hampering efforts to stabilize the damaged reactors. They sent a remote-controlled robot into the number three reactor building on Tuesday to take photos of the piping and measure radiation levels. TEPCO decided to use the robot to find methods of cooling the nuclear fuel in the number three reactor with less water. The utility injects about 390 tons of water into the three damaged reactors every day, but most of it becomes contaminated with radioactive materials. TEPCO says the temperature of the number three reactor is relatively stable, but it needs more water than the others because of leaks and other problems. Reducing the volume of contaminated water is the key to putting the reactors under control, but a system for treating radioactive water has been hit by a series of troubles. TEPCO hopes to eventually send workers into the buildings to find a way to pour water directly onto the fuel rods. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it's sending workers into the number three reactor building on Wednesday to check the condition of its piping. The number three reactor is the plant's largest source of radioactive water because of leaks, among other problems. Tokyo Electric Power Company made the decision after a remote control robot on Tuesday found small amounts of damage to pipes and valves in the building. On Wednesday, six workers are entering the second and third floors to try to learn whether it's okay to send coolant water into the pipes there. They will have to work quickly as the robot probe found radiation levels of up to 75 millisieverts per hour in part of the building. The maximum legal exposure level for emergency workers is 250 millisieverts. Iran says its first nuclear power plant will begin transmitting electricity in the near future. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Ramin Meiman Paras made the announcement in a news conference on Tuesday. The preparations to launch a nuclear power plant in Boucher are almost complete. The plant is currently undergoing final tests for the transmission of electricity. He said power transmission is expected to begin as early as late August, and Iran is discussing the launch date with Russia. Russia has been providing technological support for the project and will deliver nuclear fuel to the plant as well as collecting spent fuel. Iran says it plans to build 20 nuclear reactors of a similar type. Israel and Arab nations have voiced strong concern that Iranian nuclear power plants will lead to the development of nuclear weapons.